Friday. Um, I took last week off, just January, you know, rest, rest, rest. And yeah, this weekend, it is my birthday on Sunday. Today is Friday. So we've got quite a lot planned. It's going to be a very busy weekend. So I'm going to take you guys along right now. I need to shower and get ready for today. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think today Keenan and I are going to go see some ice sculptures out in Banff. And then... Tomorrow I have a dinner with friends, very small, and then I think Sunday, probably just spend it with the family, or go out with Keenan. And yeah, I don't know what to expect for this weekend, but I thought I would film it, or try and film it. I've been really, I tried to film this week, and I literally filmed nothing. I was so bad at remembering to do so, so we'll try the weekend. <laughs> There'll be a lot more, hopefully, to go on that's going on, so come along. Welcome to my birthday vlog meal with um, sweet potato fries and a Diet Coke. Uh, yeah, can I get a double he knows my order by heart. and onion rings? Yeah. Great. Perfect, thank you. Okay, I'll see at the window. <laughs> what? Wow. You just know my order by heart. <laughs> That's a very easy order. I think I've got such a complicated order. It's just one thing with four customizations. It's not that difficult. <laughs> And then a specific, like, not a regular fries and drink. Mm. <laughs> Wait, this doesn't look right. I think it is. Did I go too far? No. You know, that's right. Is it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's so high. Oh, it's, so it's high. Cochrane. It's for trucks. <laughs> I should have brought the van. <laughs> Walking. Yawn. <laughs> Disgusting. Yum. Means flat face. Yeah, I think it means yummy. Okay, I am home now and I've just made some pizza and I'm going to watch some YouTube and try and unwind. My brain recently has not been easily relaxable, so we're going to watch some YouTube. We're going to read a book. We're going to try our utmost to chill. Um, the new Sarah J Maas book came out this week. The, it's the third Crescent City House of Flame and Shadow. So I just started it and I'm about, I'm out on one, I'm on page 176, chapter 17. I'm liking it so far. It's a lot of action, which I like. I, I want a little bit more like character pieces, but there was so much world building in the previous books. And it's still going. It's great. <laughs> it's great. And I love... Okay, I'm not going to spoil anything. But I love the people, the characters involved. 
love it but I have been like bluesy this week last weekend we had a really busy weekend that kind of messed with my sleep schedule and it takes me forever to sort of sort that out um so I'm very very tired and when I'm tired I can't do anything <laughs> I'm so useless and like decision making, everything like is very overwhelming. I can do things, I'm just like overwhelmed at all times. So yeah, this week is a bit rough. So I'm trying to go and sort of sort myself out a little bit and like actually put effort and prioritize the things that will make me feel better, including things like laundry, reading, YouTube, just like the small things. I did some journaling this evening. That was really nice. And yeah. Reprioritize right in time for a busy birthday weekend. Tired in time for busyness. Doesn't go together. Doesn't go together at all. But c'est la vie. I can only do my best. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, I want to sleep. But I'm like not that tired. My brain is just on all the time. But it's okay. I've got like books and things, and I'm very grateful for a lot of the stuff in my life. So I can't really complain. Just have a bit of a moan and then get on with it, and it all works out eventually. It always does. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to the weekend. If I'm a bit trepidatious, a bit scared. Just because I'm so tired. I think it'll be, it'll be nice though. Doing a small thing tomorrow evening. And then... Probably just family time on Sunday. Yeah. But either way, for tonight, I'm ahead to bed. So good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So I've woken up earlier than I probably would have naturally today. But my friend is coming over and we're going to finish watching the Percy Jackson series. So I've also got quite a few things to do. I need to like wash my hair and do some laundry. So he's gonna come here, thankfully. <laughs> and then I can kind of get some stuff done in the background while we're watching. Um, I'm really bad at like watching shows on my own. So definitely hanging out with him keeps me accountable. keeps me watching the show. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward. The whole season's finished now. So the finale's out, so it's all done which is exciting but yeah kind of need to get a rig on get the day started so i've actually started doing a different kind of like hair care routine it's so good like i wash my hair once or twice a week maybe twice a week and wow it just like stays it doesn't look horrendous which is quite impressive but especially so I've seen a bunch of people like oiling their scalp and their hair and I was like that seems like counterproductive no it works it works so well so I'm just gonna do that put a little hair mask in put my hair up and just kind of let it sit for maybe an hour or so then wash it out and have my shower Actually, I might be able to leave it longer today because we're just watching TV. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just leave it for a while. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Probably then do my journaling and set up and go from there. But this is the one I've been using. It's just like this hair food. For the hair mask, I've been using this John Frieda Deep Sea Hydration. So I'm gonna let that sit and 
marinate for a while. But later when I shower, I actually use this, ooh, that's what, scalp scrub shampoo. Nothing, nothing feels quite as clean on hair wash day as scalp scrub shampoo. I would highly recommend it. Okay, the makeup so far. I think I'm gonna do like a darker lip later once I've got dressed and make it last longer. <laughs> Complimentary champagne as they should. Six. Keenan's just gone and grab, gone to grab some milk tea from TNT, and I just need to sit down 
very tired. <laughs> um, I was thinking about it and I have like a lot of good things to say about like my feelings of turning 26 and it's, it's, it's a good thing and I'm very grateful and lots of, lots of good things to share. <laughs> um, but I'm so tired, I don't have the energy to share anything at the moment. I feel like this week in particular I've been quite tired and so it's like almost like decision paralysis around everything, which is always a kind of sign to me of my kind of overwhelm. So yeah, I was supposed to go out for dinner with my parents tonight and I'm honestly not entirely certain if that's what I want to do just because I'm tired. But I also think I would feel rotten if I didn't go. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> oh, very tired. But we went to Canela this morning and had some nice little treats, sweet treats. And then I also got a little dried plant for myself as a little birthday. Birthday present to me. But we're just wandering around some shops now and shopping is always tiring as well <laughs> uh, but I'll keep taking you guys along for the day and then maybe later once I if I rejuvenate I can have some thoughts and opinions to showcase it's a bit dark but I've got this for myself for my birthday today and this little shelf in the corner of my room is now like the favorite centerpiece of my room despite it being tucked into the corner I think it is so beautiful it's just got a few calendars and then this was a really old dried baby's breath and then just this one that I got today end of the birthday I wrote in my journal earlier like I wish I was less tired so I had more thoughts to offer <laughs> about turning 26 but I had a good birthday cry due to Exhaustion. Keenan was very helpful. <laughs> Keenan, how did you find my birthday weekend? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of crying, though. <laughs> okay. I okay. had a great time. Um, Kate's parents got me a tea cozy. <laughs> um, I got Kate probably the best gift she's ever gotten in her life. Oh, do you want to show your present? Huh? Do you want to show it? Can you grab it? Oh, it's over there. It's just on top of the top shelf in my wardrobe. Oh, wait, you moved it? Yeah. Keenan got me, like, the perfect present. Like, he crushed it. <laughs> okay, so, a few weeks ago, I had mentioned to Keenan that I wanted more of my, like, silky scarf. No, you have to be in it. Mm. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I would mentioned to Keenan I wanted more of those, like, silky scarves that I have, because I have one that's really nice. So, what does he get but a silky scarf? And he bought this a few weeks ago, apparently. And then last week, he very sneakily asked who my favourite designers were. And top of my head, I was like, oh, well, I love, like, the silhouettes and the fabrics of, like, Dior. Um, he also said Ralph Lauren. I also said Ralph Lauren. Man's found a Dior silky scarf. From the 50s, like proper yeah. vintage. It's silk. It smells like silk. old people. <laughs> it's perfect. It's so beautiful. Like, ugh. Oh, it was perfect. It's literally perfect. He crushed it. <laughs> Why can I say the best boyfriend? You are the best boyfriend ever. Not because of your presence, but like. <laughs> I thought you liked my presents. Your presents were awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, very, very pleased with that. Done good. Done good. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to stand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is a wrap on the birthday. I don't know what I filmed, but... Here you go. 26. Oh, also, I got a new lamp today because um, Keen, the one I had, Keenan always complained that whenever he was looking at me, like on that side of the bed looking, it would be like blinding him. So I got one that's lower down and dimmable. So I'll show you that too. With the ginger ale for scale.
we didn't end up going to dinner tonight with my family because I was too tired and I knew I wouldn't enjoy it, which was more at the suggestion of my mum, which was the right call, so I'm glad that we chose that. We ended up having just like an A&W at home instead, which was ideal. So overall, very successful birthday, apart from lots of crying and tiredness. So now we're going for an early night, so thank you for watching.